We're at the train station heading to Vietnam. When we went to the train station in the small town of Luang Prabang, did not expect this. It's huge, beautiful, only a year old. Bathrooms, restaurants, an Amazon cafe. Lowered the transit time for the locals to get between Luang Prabang and Vietnam from about seven hours on the road to an hour and a half on the train. We'll show you this high-speed Chinese train when it shows up. So, all in all, travel Can't day wait to underway. See it. <laughs> Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Our time in Luang Prabang was just amazing. This place is starting to grow bigger in my heart. I definitely love Lao. It's easy to get around. The English level here is really good. And everybody's really nice. They can have the biggest grins on their face and then they're just so sweet. Also amazing bakery. We had to bring some ciabatta sandwiches that we found at the local bakery. Looks like they're doing a turnover in about three minutes, so it is no time to waste once the train gets here. Train's new and comfortable. International plugs to charge all your gadgets, nice bathroom, and a nice little dining car to get coffee, drinks, and noodles. Loka. Definitely recommend downloading the Loka LOCA app before you arrive. It is the go to local app for digital payments and ride hailing, kind of like Grab for Loud. All of a sudden, we're at this adorable little hotel in Vietnam, Lao. Probably a little dated by the background decorations there. I'm sure, this video will hit until well after Christmas, but this is where we're spending Christmas. 90 degrees, sunny, beautiful. We're going to start this trip out by heading out to one of the most popular tourist attractions in this area, the Buddha Park. In 1958, a gentleman built this park. And in 1975, in the revolution, he had to escape. So he went across the river and into Thailand. Thailand over there and built another duplicate of this one. This is pretty amazing with all of the different sculptures. I can't wait to see the rest of it. This park is amazing. It's right next to the water, the beautiful flowers. I could stay here all day. The most important part of any tour. Big old toe. This represents when you get inside and you crawl to the top, going from hell to heaven. Careful, it's slippery. Yep. You're making your way to heaven, Katie. In case you thought these stairs were big, that's about what we're dealing with. It is tight and small and slippery and really awesome. It is so slippery up here. Another girl in Birkenstocks was warning me about how slippery it was and she slipped. Slippery, very slippery. Yep. That is a tight fit. Bye, Katie. Drop my water bottle. I think somebody caught it before it rolled off the side and brained someone. Wow. And if you thought it got less tight inside, you would be incorrect. Oops, that went all blurry, but still. It goes down even further, and it just keeps going down. Welcome to the bottom level. <laughs> so there is an easy way out. This was worth it. Even if this was the only thing here and you like to climb, 
I would have paid 40,000 kip just to kill them to this. This is neat. Now we begin to climb back up. Thankfully, we don't have to go all the way out of the dragon's mouth. There's an exit um, a couple levels down. This is really neat. If you're claustrophobic and you're big, don't try it. I'm not claustrophobic. No. But it's still a little sketchy. Really cool though. All right, let's head out. That is intense. I tell you what, that is your workout. That is my workout for the day. There's a bunch of different school groups in here. It's really cool. They're getting the kids out. <laughs> Hello. 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 There's a ton of exploring to be done here in the park. There are so many statues. Of, uh, most of it's Buddha, but there are just a lot of it. Like this cobra, there's the Nagas. I don't know what all this stuff is called. Four-armed pig dude wrestling with man. Shark shoes. There's a bunch of really cool stuff here. And we never saw him again. It was worth it though. Katie thought I was gonna fall. She's probably gonna record me on the way down to make sure I don't fall then too. But she'll make sure not to laugh until she knows I'm okay. Now for the fun part, I'm gonna try and climb back down this thing. It's really steep, probably a lot steeper than it looks, especially this last part is pretty much straight up and down. I was thinking I probably would have left my sandals downstairs and done this barefoot, but I clearly wasn't thinking. So I'm leaving the camera on just in case I take a tumble, then hey, you know, maybe at least we'll get a lot of hits from it. In the battle of concrete versus elbow, concrete always wins, in case you were wondering. Victory. I can't believe he went all the way up there and he didn't even look at the hole to find out if it's a cavern, cavern, if it's a hole or if it's not. Yeah, yeah, that hole up there. So now I have to climb up, but I'm leaving my shoes and all my stuff down here. Up she goes. If you fall, I'll catch you, love. Might be lying, but we won't tell her that. No, I'd try to catch her. Definitely. And he definitely said definitely. Definitely. Isn't it great? There's no way. You're straight like this. Go on, little Miss Judge a lot. Get on up there. A little steeper than it looks, isn't it? Well, I thought they were gonna be a little curved. Yeah, yeah, battery's running. Seriously though, if you can't do it safely, don't do it. I don't think I can. I mean, I probably could. If you wanna see, peek. I wanna peek? It's too dangerous. I'm gonna say no. Okay, so while Katie climbs down behind me, we'll just go ahead and reiterate the fact that she couldn't make it to the hole either. She got up there and went, oh my God, this is too steep. Might be teasing her a little bit, but I'm actually really glad she didn't try because that is a perfect recipe to wind up in the emergency room for our last couple days in love. Thanks for not making me look bad, honey. <laughs> yeah, the stairs wouldn't even fit my feet, so I'm not going to the top. Back to exploring. And while we were exploring, we found Bacan Cafe with some amazing Chilean and Latin American food, a mall with a Santa Claus that for some reason was holding the severed head of another Santa Claus, and for Christmas dinner, an American joint serving up barbecued ribs. And now for one of our favorite activities, wandering around aimlessly and seeing what we can find. The vampire butterfly is gonna swing over and suck my neck. Absolutely anything you can imagine in here, except for the batteries we're looking for. things about just wandering around as we so often do is that we have no idea what this place was. We just stumbled into all these beautiful temples right out here in the middle of the Etienne. Katie. There's all sorts of cool workshops and stuff just all over Vietnam. Katie's favorite iced coffee comes from places with these kind of pots. And of course, lots of condensed cream. I've never had one in a bag before. She says I'm just supposed to do this, so let's... Now for breaking our programming. <laughs> we'll just lie about how you got that in there. Yeah. Ooh, that's sugary. That's so good. <laughs> I'm 
What's in the uh, what's in the bag? Coffee in a bag, coming at you live from VTM. We've been meaning to eat at this place for like two weeks. It's our last night, we finally got over here to try it. Long line every night. Looks like awesome local food. We're getting some fried rice with chicken. Definitely worth the wait. This is really good. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Leave the, the thumbs, thumbs up and, and subscribe. subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>